On Enoch Cree Nation, this rain tower is getting everything around it wet, including the camera lens. The rain stream can soak up to 18 acres and missed 160 acres. The people behind it are calling it a game changer for protecting homes and infrastructure from wildfires. Because it fills a huge gap between ground sprinklers and aircraft. And so had you had a fleet of these uh, uh, rainstream mobile towers at uh, the edge of Fort McMurray or Jasper, uh, the people that were there tell us it would have been a game changer for them because it would have been able to avoid a lot of the downwind destruction. It takes one or two people to operate it, and it's a mobile unit. Once a crew's trained and they're familiar with the system, I really believe a crew can set this unit up in five minutes and it's easily moved. You don't need big equipment to move it. It's designed to hook up to hydrants, but we can also pull out of natural water sources and feed water to the system. 2023 was a historic year for wildfires. The most recent season had more reported fires, but those fires didn't burn as much land. Oh, there's a big fire there. The most notable one burned Jasper National Park and a third of the tourist town. With that unpredictability, some communities are looking to be proactive. Shane Peacock is an Enoch Cree Nation councillor. He sees benefits for protecting important land, like its medicine areas from wildfires. We live in a different climate, different world right now. Uh, Alberta, we've seen it, we've got the history. More importantly, we need to take better care of our lands, and this is one way of doing it. It's being preemptive, and uh, that's one thing we've learned in the past. Now, the company hasn't sold any of the water towers yet, but the people behind it say there are municipalities that are interested in it before the next wildfire season. Travis McEwen, CBC News, Enoch Cree Nation.